Come on, let's give our mayor our biggest thank you. other important people that are in the room that volunteer to support the Houston Public Library. I'd like to start with the new chair of our Houston Public Library Foundation, Leisha Green Up. Also, the president of our friends, Doug Hedden. And the friends, members Jeanette Margo and Diane Durbin. And, and Lauren. Sorry, yeah. And so now, here is the Farah. Mayor, you are so good. Were you a teacher? <laughs> you know how to do <laughs> yes. And um, again, <laughs> so Roger, please. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. And thank you, Mayor Parker. And thank you, Chris, for being so patient. I'm only going to speak for two or three hours, so you can be fine. Uh, everyone here has made us feel very welcome here in Houston, and we are delighted to support your community by participating in the summer reading program. I stand before you as the ultimate bibliophile, a book lover who has written, published, and distributed books throughout our country and the world. One of my reasons for my passionate devotion to the book is because I know of all the magical objects in existence, be it a lantern with a genie or a mirror to be consulted, the book has the greatest transformative power. Through the act of reading, we can travel beyond the confines of our own world our own minds, our own beliefs, to commune with someone else, to develop a conversation with the author, to argue, celebrate, be moved, and potentially enlightened. Once one is embarked on a reading adventure, there is no turning back. The world becomes a fascinating place, a realm of discovery, and an arena for great deeds. But the access to books is not as all-pervasive as we would all like. There is a growing chasm between the haves and the have-nots that concerned citizens must address. Here are some statistics to think about. 61% of low-income families do not have any books in the home. In middle-income families, there is an average of 13 books for every child in the home, versus in low-income families, there is one book for every 300 children. It is estimated that the cost of illiteracy to business and the taxpayer is $20 billion per year. And lastly, just as another statistic of many, the only behavior measure that correlates significantly with reading scores is the number of books at home. As an educational publisher, I am acutely aware of the consequences to our society in not, not acting for the common good. It is a matter of equity of access and social justice. This is why we established the Power Reading Program. We want to get books into kids' homes so they can begin their own personal libraries to have a sense of ownership, to come to cherish their books, to build a relationship with authors, to share their books with siblings, to acquire new knowledge, and to never stop learning and growing. We also want to instill a love of the public library, an understanding that however big or small their own collection is, that there is always the vast treasure trove of this most democratic of institutions, always available to them. As library advocates, all of us must contribute uh, and continue to fight for funding and support. The 20,000 books that we are donating to the children of Houston today is a $400,000 investment in your community, our largest gift to date. You will find within these collections bilingual books in Spanish and English, STEM and STEAM materials, fiction and nonfiction. Kids, we hope you enjoy reading them as much as we enjoyed making them. I'd like to come back next year and you can tell me what you thought. Did you enjoy them? Were they fun? Interesting? It's a pleasure to be with you today, and how appropriate that we are having this event during National Library Week. Lives do indeed change at your library. Thank you all very much.